Come on, Neil. Oh, Absolutely. Just real quick, I yeah. want. Uh, I, there's more about how much lighter you are at the equator. Please explain, because somebody called up saying that if the world is round, how come this? And yeah, they, you are in fact lighter at the equator because of the centrifugal forces right. of the rotation, and so that and you can measure that, and it's, it's in a matter of ounces. I mean, it's not just micrograms. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's ounce. I mean, you can get this, and at the equator, you're moving about a thousand miles an hour because the circumference is about. 25,000 miles, and you do that in 24 hours. Four hours. 24 hours. It's about 1,000 miles an hour. So now here's what's interesting. If you sped up the Earth faster, you get lighter and lighter and lighter at the equator. And you can ask the question, at what point would you have no weight at all? Mm. So there's a speed with which you can spin Earth where you would have no weight at all. And that speed is rotating once in 88 minutes. So if a day was 88 minutes... And it's long, then on the equator, you would not be attached to the Earth. You would just be floating there. And in fact, that is the speed of spaceships that orbit the Earth. Oh. You are effectively in Earth orbit at you that moment. constantly falling. Falling. But... Correct. And oh, so fantastic. space station orbits once is a little higher up, so it's 90 minutes, basically an hour and a half. Right, right. So spin the Earth fast enough, you can reach a point where everyone on the equator is essentially in orbit. They are weightless. So now if you did that, but then you increase the gravity to make your weight again what it was. Well, then you undo the whole thing. Undo and what, the then, whole what, thing then, then the why equator, do that? But, but then wouldn't you get squished on the North Pole? No, the North Pole doesn't know any. Doesn't know about it. Santa but Claus gravity keeps itself. his chubby weight the whole time. He does. He keeps. He doesn't all get his any lighter. Weight. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just have to finish out that answer. Thank you, because okay, again, I get people that call up and they start okay, questioning. Do I, do I have permission this? to go home now? You do have permission <laughs> okay. to go home. Permission right. granted. Thank right. you, Neil Sorry deGrasse Tyson. I'm the caller there. I was just. Oh, I'm please. on my way He's out. Just talking about Al Pacino. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Devil's advocate. Sorry, caller. I'm, I'm out of here now. <laughs> Neil, thank you for clearing that up. But I'm sure more people have questions. They always do. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> it's just the coolest thing to have an astrophysicist on hand. Just in case, on call to the Anthony Cumia show. There you go. We have Neil deGrasse Tyson.